Edición especial de lujo de Fuera del Octágono para UFC 300 porque me acompaña la leyenda Forrest Griffin, miembro del Salón de la Fama, parte de The Ultimate Fighter número uno. Forrest, uh, I'm so happy to be with you here in the UFC PI Mexico. Uh, it's awesome to be here, isn't it? It's an amazing place. I know that you, uh, of all people, have to be super excited about this place. And you get to spend some more time here. Hopefully there'll be more events in Mexico City, right? Man, I, I'm really excited about the Mexico PI, uh, Performance Institute to Mexico City um, and not just because it's going to give services to all the UFC athletes in the region locally they can come here uh, Mexico is a pretty easy city to get into this is an awesome place so all the Latin and South American fighters can come here and I think by bringing all that talent here we can make Mexico City a real hub for South America so uh, in a, you know it sounds weird but I would rather those fighters come here and train here and, and improve this place other than everybody just coming to Vegas, you know? So hopefully those UFC athletes will come here and then we'll have an academy class here. So those academy athletes will get to benefit from seeing the UFC athletes train, maybe even actually getting to train with them. And then they'll see that, oh, I've got the same, the same services and food that UFC athletes train. This is gonna help me, it's gonna be great. And one of the things is we wanna bring the best talent from all around the region in here to make it better, right? So we want to make this a, a, like a talent gold mine where you just keep bringing talent in as opposed to the talent kind of fleeing and going up to Vegas or somewhere in Florida, California. Why not just stay here in your home country and train? Forrest, cuéntame a lo largo de estos años de historia, ¿cuáles han sido tus top de momentos favoritos? Um, so many great fights, um, you know, the Robbie Lawler title fights, mm -hmm. you know, he had, he had the one with uh, the Canadian guy, that was one of my favorite all-time fights. Uh, any Dustin Poirier fight is one of my favorite all-time fights, every Dustin Poirier fight. Um, there's just been so many good fights throughout the years. I, I think of a couple though, what I will say is one of, the, one of the things that stuck out to me was the first UFC I ever went to. I never went to a UFC. The first UFC I went to, I fought in. And the first UFC I went to, as a fan, they played the Bible Riley music mm -hmm. with the finale with me and Stefan in it. And I think me and Stefan were sitting next to each other. And we just looked at each other in awe. Like, you know, they played that song and they showed the highlight reel and I was just like, uh, that, that was one of, to me, like the craziest moments, like seeing yourself and such a cool thing before the, you know, main event, uh, you know, starts in the UFC and they're just like, oh my gosh, you know, I was saying maybe 27, 28 at the time, 26. And you know, that's, that's what you dream for, for seven, eight, 10 years and to see it. And you're just like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. As a 205er, I'm definitely interested in Hill and Pereira, you know, uh, two amazing fighters. I know they both got very different stand-up styles, you know, Hill is so elusive and, and kind of awkward and, you know, very, very un, very like unusual, you know? And uh, Pereira's got a pretty straightforward style and, um, you know, obviously great offense, amazing power, great calf kick, but his defense isn't always great. So sometimes a fighter with, uh, out, that doesn't have great defense makes for a great fight, you know, myself included. <laughs>